And Holyfield hit him twice when he got himself straight. Holyfield wobbled him, wobbled him a little bit with that left hook. And he got an uppercut in there, too. Cooper is groggy for a second. Holyfield with a chance. The right cross was a beauty. Cooper comes over the top with a right, but he left himself open. There's that quick right hand of Cooper's on the inside. Didn't, didn't, really didn't like that low blow. Pulled his trunks down even further. Holyfield's co-trainer Lou Duva about the mental adjustment problem of fighting somebody on one week's notice. And Duva said, well, I wonder, Gil, whether this crowd enthusiasm hasn't stirred short right hand. That's one area where he's gotten a lot better. He was early in his career. Of course, that was his Frazier was teaching. Right hand to the body. Good uppercut by Cooper. Good left to the body by Cooper inside. And the right hand. There's that sneaky right hand. Holyfield in his corner. To play a little bit more defense. Holyfield lands a left hook. And Cooper wobbles. My opinion is winning the fight. He's fighting Cooper's fight. And there's that big, there's that sneaky right hand of Bernie Cooper's. And Holyfield wobbles in the corner. The champion in trouble. Cooper bangs away. Holyfield almost goes down. Mills Lane's going to call it a knockdown. Another right hand lands flush. There's that sneaky and right hand, hand, Jim. Holyfield in serious, serious trouble. And he's overworking that right hand. Cooper coming in, though he was tired. There, there's the punch that really hurt Holyfield. Paying the price of not fighting the fight he planned for. That round, gentlemen. And there's that right hand. I, I, as I say, Bright works that overtime. Look at the will of Evander Holyfield, staring Cooper in the face and pounding away. That's very dangerous, particularly for a big fighter. Cooper's punches seem to have slowed down now, Jim. Holyfield was going to fight this kind of a fight, and I still felt he had win the fight, Kurt Cooper. And this has been another largely even round with both men having big flurries. Cooper grinning again. Oh, look at that. These are awesome punches, and Cooper has just about had enough. And he decided not to quit. And he'll take punishment for The uppercut's been the punch, Jim. There it is again. The uppercut's the punch. There it is again. A van the... Exploding right hand by Cooper to the body. And now, watch. There goes Evander again. Find him in the battle. Yes, that's... Oh, what a right hand. Knocked down by the referee. Well, that wasn't exactly ointment. It was an acidic substance. Another uppercut. I'm surprised that Evander Holyfield isn't using the jab a lot more, Jim. When a guy gets played, it's easy to hit him with a jab. Guys always start out jabbing, and then later on, I forget when he can use a good stiff jab. Cooper with two overhand rights. Oh, what a bomb that uppercut was. But Cooper keeps coming back. There's another one. 
but he started to do it again. But now Holyfield rips another uppercut, and Cooper standing stuck still. This could be it now. Only 15 seconds to go in the round. Not much time for Evander. Cooper staying right there. Target practice, but he's not going to get it. I don't think he's going to get it. Mills Lane has seen enough. Mills Lane stops the fight. And courage and a heck of a right hand. Holyfield demonstrated that the well-publicized heart is by no means overestimated. He came back from adversity, took over the fight again, and banged Cooper out of there. Jim, it was just an absolutely great performance by both fighters. You have to remember that uh, Cooper had Holyfield on the edge of a, right on the brink of a KO. It looked to me that any second Holyfield could go, even after he made that rally back, he was still, Cooper was still dangerous and he still had Holyfield in trouble. The undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, real deal, Holyfield.